it's Ashley. As usual, I'm on my way to work. And I wanted to talk about all of this celebration that I've been noticing for women's vaginas. The first time I heard about it was like a while ago. And it was when people were talking about using um, like an egg, like a jade egg, stick it up your hoo-ha and do some kegels with it to strengthen it besides just regular kegels, which are just as effective. And, uh, then Gwyneth Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow came out with her version of it, which was like a hundred and some dollars because while all of her stuff is holistic, stuff that's popular in the holistic lifestyle, it's always overpriced. Absurdly overpriced because it's her. And um, she came out with the egg and everybody talked about that and there was such a big uproar. And then later, somebody that I follow on YouTube who's, uh, she's like the Dr. Ruth of our generation is what I like to call her, but her name's Shan Boudrum and her YouTube channel is Shan Booty and she's a sex psychologist and she gives like advice to, uh, she also gives like dating advice and stuff like that. And she recently came out with a book called Game of Desire. There was kind of an uproar about it last year or was it the beginning of this year? I can't remember. It was somewhere in between the begin, end of last year, beginning of this year. There was an uproar with a part of her book and Lonnie thinking that it was ridiculous, which a lot of people think is ridiculous. And she was the first person to talk about it. And what she talked about and what caused the big commotion was she, there's a part in her book where she's giving somebody advice and she tells them, use your vaginal juices, yes, you heard me correctly, as your perfume. Kind of like how people use an oil that will bring out their natural pheromones. Kind of like that. If you're familiar with Pure Romance, they have something like that, which I like just because I like the scent that it gives, because it's myself. <laughs> um, but she's going along the same realm as that, except for it just being the national natural pheromones from your body. It's the ones from inside your body, from your womanly parts. So the first time she talked about it, before they even brought it up on the reel, and Lonnie got all like crazy about it, I was like, Ew, gross. I would never. I still would never. But guess who else came out with something similar, but they put it in a candle? Gwyneth Paltrow. And I think it's like 60 some dollars, of course. Absurd amount. And then on Instagram, uh, like I think it's been about two weeks now since I've seen it. Erica Badu, I don't know if she's trolling. I feel like she really is trolling, but it was still funny as hell. She said she's going to come out with an incense that smells like her hoo-ha. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? this shit is getting out of hand. But then Shan posted on her Instagram, and I kind of get and kind of respect while they're doing it, even though I'm not on board with it. I'm like, I'm on board for the concept, but actually going through with it? Uh, nah, sis. Not right now. I can't. I can't do it. And I'll insert the video. So Gwyneth Paltrow put out a candle called Smells Like My Vagina, and now Erica Badu is coming out with a perfume, also called Smells Like My Vagina, and every one of you keeps tagging me in it to find out what I think about it, but you already know what I think. I think it's marvelous. I think it's wonderful. I think it's part of a new movement that is embracing our natural bodies and celebrating them for what they are. Because if you are putting good stuff in, 
good water, good food, good loving, amazing things are going to come out. And I'm sick and tired of the comparisons to food. I'm sick and tired of the comparisons to smells that are not flattering. So I love the fact that women are rebranding the smell of a vulva in a way and associating with things that people actually want to buy because vaginas are amazing and they're not something that's gross and nasty and uh, disgusting and vomit emoji. It is a wonderful part of the human experience. It is a wonderful scent that again is designed to be attractive to others. And if it's not attractive to you, that's okay. Stick with your Irish spring or whatever scent floats your boat. But for everybody else who is enjoying this ushering in of this movement of acceptance of vulva and vaginal scent acceptance, let us buy some products associated with it. Cheers to you ladies, I'm into it. But what do you think? She's tired of all the stigma that society puts around a woman's vagina and how it smells. Now that I can get behind because though it can be funny and I've laughed at it several times when somebody's like, ugh, why? It smells like fish. Granted, it does have a particular smell. Is it of the aquatic scent? No, not unless there's something wrong with you. Even when you're on your period, it does not have an undersea smell. It's more like pennies, wet pennies, metallic scent. And if it doesn't smell, I don't know, like really, how it doesn't really, really have a scent. But you know what? She did mention also in the video, your diet also has something to do with how it can smell, which is true. If you're hydrated enough, your vagina shouldn't have any kind of strange smell to it. Maybe like that first piss in the morning because you've been sleeping for eight or so hours and it's like the first piss where you're getting rid of everything but it still does, shouldn't smell like fish. Maybe a strong urine scent because you're pissing and what you're smelling is pee and not your vagina. But after, like when she said that, I totally agreed with her and I'm tired of women bashing each other saying that somebody smells like fish when they don't. Now, not to say that some women don't take care of themselves hygienically like they're supposed to. The first thing that you say when somebody talks about their vagina shouldn't be, ew, gross. And I think people should be more comfortable with it. Like I can say that all I want, but people are gonna be however they wanna be. But I'm just saying, I can kind of understand where Shan was coming from. Gwyneth Paltrow, mm, yeah, um, I've not been a fan of her. Since Shakespeare in Love and Iron Man. Other than that, she can go kick rocks, I don't care. And then there was also... I forgot about it. There was also the thing where people were saying you can steam your vagina to make it have a scent, like a floral scent, like you squat over some steamed potpourri leaves. Not like that scent or anything would be irritable to your nether regions. Not at all. Because of all that fragrance, like, come on. Vagisil or the generic brand that's actually pH balance for that is perfectly fine. <laughs> if you're doing more than that in this it has a strong scent, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Like go see the doctor. Eat right. I can work out more. I don't know. But I just wanted to bring that up. 
and talk about it because I never really thought about it. You right, you just you hear it so much that people are like ill vagina stinky that you just get used to it and you're like whatever and you say to yourself, well my vagina don't stink. Guess what? A lot of other women's vaginas don't stink either. <laughs> But they just don't broadcast it enough to say, oh yeah, you like this scent? It's my vagina. It's my vagina juice. Or, oh my God, what fragrance is this candle? <laughs> Girl, that's my van vaginal scent. Isn't it amazing? But yes, I just wanted to say that put it out there. I don't know if anybody else has heard about this phenomenon that's starting up. And probably by the end of 2020 the, the, some celebrity will come out with a fragrance. <laughs> because if they're not trying to make uh, makeup lines right now thanks to Kylie's lip kits and Rihanna's makeup they were on the perfume kick for quite a while thanks to Britney Spears and I did buy her shit I did buy Rihanna's and I did buy Beyonce's I love them but I'm sorry sis I don't want to smell like your lady parts I don't know how this became went from here to there but <laughs> that's all I want to talk about I'm like halfway to work <laughs> I will talk to you guys later have a good day night whatever time of day it is I will never get this down and I will see